Honey, it's that sweet nectar that can be in soap, lotions, bath salts, decorative candles, and of course, it's best form. But it's all thanks to hard-working honeybees. In fact, experts say that every third bite of all the food you've eaten was possible because of bees. But what if they were to disappear? This is Carolyn Essence. She's a beekeeper. Uh, I've been working with bees for five years. It's like glue. It's just like being a mother. Like they, they're, they bring you fulfillment. They're always a challenge. They're always giving you grief. <laughs> it's a hard job. Beekeepers have to deal with unsteady bee populations made worse by climate change. And it's even led to bee thefts. Last year, Carolyn had $4,000 worth of honey and three colonies stolen. It's gutting, it's gutting, yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like any theft, like it's a bit violating. And you just work so hard, like it's blood, sweat and tears all season. And then to have that taken from you, just it, it hits your core for sure, yeah. It's a real sucker punch. But it comes from a place of desperation. So a farmer has bills that they need to pay and their bees didn't do well over winter and they have contracts they need to meet and then they just take other people's bees. It's been a tough couple of years for bees. Uh, honeybees have many different challenges that they're faced with. So they're susceptible to different diseases, to mites, of course pesticides affect them, drought, long cold winters, hot, hot summers, all those types of things affect bees. As those things are layered on, it just gets more and more difficult for them. Cassie moves her beehives around the lower mainland to pollinate food crops. She says farmers rely on bees to sustain their agriculture. In the past, indigenous pollinators could do crop pollination for us because crops were smaller, but now we need the support of honeybees because we don't have enough bees to pollinate um, the crops that we rely on. So if we don't do something about the bees, then the, the long-term effect will be food shortage. Taking care of bees um, is taking care of food security. But Carolyn has an idea. She plans on resurrecting an old lot of farmland into a pollinator oasis. Some see dirt, I see hope. We could all do better if we just leave a little space for the, for the bugs. So this is supposed to be bug space. So my idea just sort of, it comes from uh, a need for a community space that's sort of outdoors focused um, and educational. Yeah. And you don't have to be a beekeeper to support pollinators. The easiest thing that people can do is plant more flowers. Uh, honeybees particularly like blues, purples, whites, and yellows. <laughs> and maybe next time you have a bite to eat, think about all the little work that went into it.